Good morning guys, it's Julie. Welcome back to Rowan Co Farms. I'm gonna take you guys on a little garden tour this morning. I realize that I haven't actually taken you on a tour of my garden at all and we've done a lot of work out here. So I just wanna show you some of the things that we've planted and how things are coming along um, and just give you some insight as to what we're doing this year in our garden. So I'm gonna get you guys flipped around here and we're gonna take a tour, let's do it. So our garden consists of I guess I should have counted before I got out here. I think I have 12 or 13 raised beds. Um, there's a few more over here. I have several in-ground, like no-dig style beds that I've put in. Um, you'll have to ignore my equipment over here. I've got lots of stuff set up to work. But um, So we'll just start right here in the front. Um, this first bed um, contains leeks and red onions. There's also, I've got a few marigolds in here and some radishes on the end. Um, this bed, I'm not really sure what's going on. The leeks have started to actually take off now. They're actually getting kind of big. That's what these are. I've got several that are really big in here. And then there's a lot that are just still really small. So I'm not sure why the inconsistency there with those plants, but I'm hoping that now that it's warming up, they'll take off. But same thing with these red onions. They are just tiny. They just haven't, this, they almost are the same size as when I planted them, which has been months and months ago now, probably back in like February, I think I planted these. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. You can see this whole row or those red onions and they're just really small. Occasionally you'll have a big one in here that's doing something so I'm not really sure in comparison to some other onions I'm gonna show you these just aren't doing great my other onions are massive so I'm not sure I think it has to do with the light over here so the next bed it does look a little messy here but this is my asparagus this is its first year got some weeds in there too but um, so we're not going to be eating any of this we're gonna let it go to seed, make more crowns, and eventually this whole section will be full of asparagus. So maybe next year or the following year we'll be able to actually harvest this. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about this. Half of this bed is all asparagus. So we will eventually have a nice uh, bunch there. Um, next section here, I have a mix of things. There's a few carrots actually made it in here in, in between. I tried to grow them and they didn't really seed and so I just used the bed for something else, but a few eventually did pop up. Um, I've got some tomatoes here in the middle, uh, four or five in the center there. There's uh, beans right here that will grow up this trellis right here. And you can see I have trellises all the way down and there will be things hopefully eventually growing up on both sides. Um, we also have, it's hard to kind of see, but on the other side over here we have peppers, mainly jalapenos. That's what I like. And then this, pretty much this entire bed is potatoes. Um, I planted about 50 pounds of potatoes in here, probably Shouldn't have put that many in this space, but I did. And so I'm hoping that we'll get a nice harvest. You can see those are really starting to come up there really well. Um, now, right here at the trellis, uh, these are these are Chicago pickling cucumbers. And I have found those to be one of my favorites. Those are from Baker Creek. Um, and they'll grow again up this archway. All right, moving down. More potatoes, more potatoes. And these are... Uh, Kennebec White. I got those from uh, Territ no, Territorial Seed, I believe. Uh, next, down here, another few green beans um, that will grow, you know, up this trellis. And eventually we'll have green beans from that. All right, moving on to this side, we have an assortment here. Um, for the trellis on this side, we have loofahs. I like to grow loofahs, that way I can use them to for sponges and things for my dishes in the kitchen. And we have yarrow, just a medicinal herb. Uh, there's some oregano, lemongrass, there's some peppers, uh, jalapenos, 
my cabbages. My chickens got up here and ate my cabbages, as you can see. I probably just need to go ahead and just pull these out and replace it with something else. I've, I've pretty much given up on cabbage here. It's just so hard to grow with pests and with my chickens getting in the way. I've got one cabbage down here. It looks ravaged too, so uh, just not good. All right, next, this bed has, it did have lettuce. All that's kind of died off now because it's gotten too hot. Um, this section here is turnips, purple top turnips. Let's see if you can actually see. See, they're, they're starting to come up, but I think honestly, I just seeded these too thick because they, they don't have room. Yeah, I may just pull these out today too. You see how the leaves are just getting completely demolished by pests. So yeah, this is, eh, this is kind of a fail right here. I'll probably yank all that out. Um, I'll probably yank out, there's a bunch of different lettuces down here. The kale, the kale looks good. That's, um, I think this is red Russian kale. And then this is the dinosaur lacinto kale. I'll leave those because those grow really good. But all this other little stuff I'm going to yank and put something else in. Uh, there's also a couple of tomatoes down here. Always have lots of tomatoes. And there's a nasturtium. Oh, with a flower. There we are. Hi, little nasturtium. This is my first year growing those too, so I'm excited to collect some of those flowers to use for uh, medicinal things. Um, I've also got a little pepper in here. I really tried to make all these beds have a variety of things in them in hopes that we would ease the pest pressure, but I don't know if that has helped or not. All right, this next one, ooh, this looks good. These beans have started their climb up the pole. Very nice. And these are rattlesnake pole beans. Last year I tried these and they didn't make it, but hopefully this year they will produce. It looks like they're doing much better than they did last time. Um, also in here, again, tomatoes. I have tomatoes in just about every single bed. Um, we got some basil started here. This is Mamolo basil. This is my favorite. Uh, it always just has nice leaves and a good flavor. Uh, more nasturtiums here. Oh, yay, more blooms. Yay, okay. We're going to really start harvesting those today, I think. Oh, more nasturtiums. They're so pretty. The leaves just look like lily pads. I love that. Oh, and here we have, these are orange and yellow. The other ones were more red. Oh, that's neat. So yeah, again, more peppers in here too. I just tried to sneak things in wherever I could. Onto this side, more peppers, more basil. I also have some little bitty dill starting here. Got to get that ready so we can make pickles when the pickles come. Again, tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. I have lots of tomato plants. And some of the varieties I have are, um, most of them are from Baker Creek, uh, Brad's Atomic Grape, uh, Perone, uh, Sunset, Dad's Sunset, I believe is one of the other ones. And then a Rutgers, uh, just a basic slicer um, that I really like. And then just a cherry tomato too. So in the front here, these are, actually these are some flowers. I can't remember which kind though. So those will come through. And then um, some zinnia, because you gotta have some pretty, you gotta have some pretty flowers in your garden too. Okay. Uh, down on this end, these are also cucumbers, and they are, I believe, the market more. Yeah, so this is more of like your slicing cucumber, and we like to have a few of those on hand. Um, next up here, oh yay, we've got, <laughs> we planted some seeds and they have started sprouting. These are our Kajari melons. Um, if you have never had Kajari melons, they are like a mini, it's about the size of a softball, a mini, almost like a little cantaloupe, a personal size melon. And they're gonna grow up this trellis 
and we'll just have these mini melons. I've just found that it's easier to grow those than growing massive watermelons and cantaloupes and stuff like that. All right, so again, we have more, a couple more peppers in the front here and some zinnias, more zinnias. Um, most of my peppers are Craig's Grande Jalapeno. We found we really like those. I don't really do a lot of bell peppers because we just don't really like them that much on occasion, but not much. All right, so last but not least is this bed. This one's really not very full and it's the most recently planted, which is why it doesn't look very, <laughs> look like it's doing very good. Um, some of these tomatoes kind of have gotten leggy and uh, they just, they're gonna need some time to fill in. But again, just more tomatoes. I've got some beans there some snapdragons. Um, this is celery, Chinese pink celery here and here. I've never had luck with celery, so we'll see how that does. And then in the front here again, I believe these are more of the Chicago pickling cucumbers starting to come up because we, we just like those for our pickles. All right. So let's go on down over here. This side is mainly all flowers. This is something new I just put in and it's a mess right now, but it's mainly just to keep my dogs away from here. We've started the no dig method. So underneath here, we've put down cardboard and then we've just piled on about six inches of compost. And then we planted directly into that. Um, the edge of it is, this is not a permanent fixture. This is just kind of temporary is just some wood laid down and then this little garden fence is just to keep my dogs away but this whole section is filled with flowers perennials so these are dahlias this whole section i can't wait for those to bloom i'm going to have lots of uh, flowers to cut this year also back here they haven't started they're still dormant these are blackberry uh, bushes or vines i have two of those i'm um, coming down all these places that are blank, there will be, I seeded lots of different flowers. I think the zinnias are there. There are more dahlias here. These are gonna be English daisies. There's a lilac bush. Um, those are cana lilies. Uh, I wanna say more zinnias in here. Zinnias, echinacea. This is my strawberry patch. I'm keeping it contained in that um, kind of bucket because strawberries can really get away from you um, if you don't kind of watch them. So that's my strawberry patch. Uh, I've got calendula seeded in here. And I don't see anything coming up yet, but it shouldn't be long. Then I have a foxglove seeded in here. Uh, this plant back here is sedum. Again, I planted some cabbages up here and my chickens just seem to love cabbage. They just come in here and pick them all out. So I'm probably gonna just take those out too. Um, and then this whole rest of this is just a whole assortment of perennials that I've seeded um, just to see what comes up. And so I'll have to keep you posted on that. So far, nothing has germinated yet. So, but it's, it's still new. Um, along this fence here, these are Concord grapes. There's another one right down there, which I hope to eventually have growing along the fence. So next bed, this one, these are my onions that are just massive. These are two different kinds of onions and you can kind of tell just by the way that they're growing. Um, these all over here are a yellow onion and then these over here are a white onion and they're all really close to being done. Um, you can see here, I mean, look at this. Look at this onion bulbing up. That's, that's huge. I've never grown onions like that. I am really excited. This one too. You see how these are starting to fall over too? That's an indicator that they are almost ready to harvest. I mean, look at these. They're all starting to bulb up. You see that? I'm really stoked about this. Yeah, this is, this is how you can tell when the, all these is a really good example. All these have started to flop over and sort of just lose their oomph right here. They kind of fall. And that's 
again, an indicator that it's almost time. Um, some people actually come in and just do that themselves, kind of bend them over so that they go ahead and yellow, but I don't, I don't want that yet. I want these to keep bulbing a little bit longer if they, if they think that they want to. Look at this. Man, I am excited. Uh, these are, these should be some good storage onions. They, uh, they're supposed to last for about eight to nine months, maybe even a year. But look at this. I made sure I had enough onions for a whole year. We use an onion in pretty much every meal, at least one a day. So I made sure I had at least 300 onions, but I do think I have more than that now. So I have yellow, white, and red, plus leeks. So it's really cool. All right, this is my kind of my herb and flower kind of bed. Um, there's, I have dill in here, lots of chamomile, sage, there's some, some chives, which are starting to go to seed too. Got their little seeds happening. I have a tomato in here. There's more dill, more sage. This is tarragon. We have a whole bunch of thyme right here. And there's a few more chives, which actually are, they're about done, so. So yeah, I mean, I still have room to plant quite a bit of stuff in here and I will um, see if I can get to that later today. Again, this is another no dig bed. I put cardboard down first. And on this one, I used some rocks to kind of line the edge a little bit um, that I picked up out of the woods. I did not buy these. I went and, and actually just haul them out one by one out of the woods. So about five or six inches of compost in here. I have some more strawberries here. There's a peach tree. We got a couple peaches on there, but honestly, I don't think I'll keep those on. I may go ahead and pull those off because this tree isn't ready to produce yet. I want it to keep making leaves and new branches and not fruit because it's not really going to have enough fruit to do anything with. All right, so next we have more dahlias. They are really getting close to blooming. I see some stuff happening there. Um, more tomatoes. These things are huge. And these are Roma tomatoes, some good paste tomato. Um, then in between there, I have a small blueberry bush. I think these are premier blueberries. Another pepper and more tomatoes. So you can see like I've stopped <laughs> here. Um, this bed, eventually I would like to continue it so it'll connect with those other trees down there. Um, but it's just, takes time and hauling those rocks is honestly the biggest hindrance for me. Um, it's just hard work. <laughs> so I have a lot of things to do already. So I guess I need to get in here with my weed eater today and get this edge done. So yeah, guys, this is, this is it. My little garden and I'm super proud of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this garden tour. Come along again, we'll do it again next week and show you the progress. We'll see you next time at Rowan Co. Farms.